everyone for some more of my Sarah Broken career mode for FIFA 21. And we are going to be beginning things here with this game against Oznabrook here on the, uh, on the road here. Uh, just to show you guys what uh, my plans are going to be for this episode. So I'm planning on playing this game against Oznabrook and probably simming this game against Paderborn. Then I'm going to play this game against Bayern Munich 2 and possibly this game against Armenia Bielefeld. And then I'm going to sim these two games against Jan Regensburg and Greuter. But before we continue on, hope you guys have an awesome day today. Hope you guys are doing well. And I'm going to show you guys the transfer business I was able to do. Um, you can see our starting 11 is pretty much the same as it was. But yeah, I brought in some new faces. I brought in Maxime Lopez in center mid. I brought in Lorazabal as a uh, fourth string winger. I brought in Eric Durham as my left mid. Or left back, rather. Um, per sure, as I ended up deciding to keep after all. And Radu I ended up bringing in. I'm just going to show you guys transfer history here real quick. But yeah, Brighton Brock will be going out on loan to Darmstadt. Lopez, I end up paying 11 million plus Christian Fructal. But I do end up getting him on a free, so that was a good deal. Same with the Ball. Durham, I paid 3.8 from Eintracht Fr Frankfurt. And that's pretty much all the business I've done so far. So, you will be seeing the new boys at some point in this uh, episode, probably against Bayern Munich 2. But the Radu signing, I'm very happy about it. A reliable backup goalkeeper, that way it allows Lunin to keep growing. But, um... Let me take a look at... Do I have anybody out on... No, I don't. I don't remember what our objectives are. Okay, they want at least one player. Oh, so that's why I've, uh, Zanatakis in there. In my backup team, so... Be seeing plenty of him, hopefully. But anyway, without further ado, we're going to get into this game against Osnabrück. And what I'm planning on doing here is I'm going to show this particular episode now. And what I'm planning on doing is almost turning this into an abridged career mode. I'm going to show you guys gameplay of the Sprite, the Bundesliga. And then after this, I won't show this career mode again into the January transfer window. Just to keep this at a uh, going at a decent pace, but anyway, I am gonna keep the kits the way that they are right now. I am not playing under showers. Pretty snazzy kits by Osnabrück, but if you ask me, but yeah, I'm not playing under showers. I'm gonna play under sunny skies. I wouldn't be dead set about playing in inclement weather if it wasn't for EA keeping on insisting that I play under it. But yeah, as far as Youth Academy, I'm not doing anything this season. I'm just worried about getting Sanitakis his 30% uh, of games. But you can see Brill and Bolo was our feature player here. As we are beginning to fight the Bundesliga season, our first in this division after getting promoted from the Dreiter Liga in the last campaign. Which was over a year and a half ago, I might add. I ended up putting this career mode on hold. Well, I was going to cancel this career mode, but I decided, you know what? I want to give this... I, I hate start, not start finishing things I started, so... See, um, player to watch, Jakob Brun Larsen. Those kits by Sarbrooken are nice. There's no book we're doing there, but I'll take advantage of that. 
beautiful pass. Ah, oh, this game. Why is this game always insist I want to pitch the center of the... Beautiful work there by our team. Spoiled because EA, for whatever reason, thinks I'm passing at the center of the pitch. And there we go. Who is that? <laughs> I don't know who that is. I think that's Ratchet. I don't know who that is. No, Eggestein ends up scoring our first goal with this right the Bundesliga. But yeah, the only reason why I want to turn this into a bridged career mode because I already showed pretty much everybody in my Hamburg career mode in this game, so... Beautiful cross! Is that Eggestein again? No, that's a Wolf. Marius Wolf. Okay, there we go. Now crossing seems to be working. But anyway, we are going to go ahead and we are going to jump to the result. Hopefully we can hang on. We get another th goal through Gonzalez and they end up getting a consolation through Klaas. You see Greater and Bielefeld each getting draws. You can see Shipnoski has been sold. Loan agreement for where the Youth Academy players, Heidenheim. This will probably go through. I'm just going to send my head here to this game against Paderborn. De Boer has been loaned out, no surprise there. They are a team within our league. But I'm going to keep the starting uh, lineup here for this game, and I'm going to play my second team against Bayern Munich 2. We can see we are currently in third on three points. Heidenheim having a, a win and a draw to open things up. Okay. Bayern Munich got Philip Kostic. I'm going to have to remember that if and when we get to the Bundesliga. I'm going to go ahead and save this. Make sure I save this under the right save file. That would be horrible if I saved over my All Maria career mode. Normally I would play a, a home debut, but I do want to get this going here. You see I got Sean Lyle, the current Hamburg, play, the Hamburg center back. And we get the 2-1 win. Brun Larson and Gonzalez with goals. Hamburg getting a game, uh, win over Bochum. But we are going to go ahead. We're going to switch to our second team. Loreza Ball is already up to 70. And we get our first look at San Atacus. Duarte, position change. Nobody I want to promote just yet. I want to see if we can get rid of some of the Deadwood players before I even think about naming anybody to the senior team. But we are going to send ahead here. This cup game against Bayern Munich uh, Savai. If I'm saying it the German way. Oh, 
Oh, did I sim with... Crap, I'm not sure if I put it to my second team and we'll, we'll find out. Okay, good. Transfer offer from Bolo from Hoffenheim. Block. He's my starting striker. I don't want to get rid of him. But it's a chance to see what our new guys look like. Lorazabal, Lopez, Durm, and Radu. Well, as well as Sanitakis. So, it's going to be a very interesting game here against the, uh, the junior club of Bayern Munich. I am keeping those kits on them, overcast guys at Town Park. See, they got Tillman, Singh, Steeler, Yomer, Stanisic, some of the names I've recognized there. And I'm just, I'm gonna say right now, I'm gonna change my mind. Instead of playing the game against Bielefeld and simming against Greater, I'm gonna play the I'm gonna sim the match against Bielefeld and I'm gonna play the game against Greater. But here we go. Already a DAP Pokal match. This is the opening round of the competition. You see Maxim Lopez right there walking out. Like I said before, this is the junior club of Bayern Munich, the amateur side. Some awkward camera shots from EA. Oh! Oh! Keep that in. Good job, Larazza Ball. Making his debut for the club. For him being only 70 rated, that is a peach of a cross to Paul Macau. Paul Macau pretty much supplanting Jesus Ferreira for, um... That backup cam position. Hopefully he'll continue to grow throughout this career mode. Oh, I didn't realize I had the ball. Byron giving away the ball very carelessly there. Okay, I can tell right away, Lorazza Ball is going to be a baller as he crosses it to Nunez. Of course, Nunez is my star player in my All Maria career mode. On here, he's a backup to Mbolo. No, we're giving the ball away carelessly. Okay, Doom, let's see what you can do. The former Wonder Kid. Linus, oh, you were not paying attention at all. We think a perfectly good cross from Doom is Pomacal gets a second. The American showing what he can do and why I decided to keep him on this team. Nunez, can you get the ball? Pomacal gets it. Oh! The Raza ball could not make it past Yilmaz. Okay, Durham. Oh, I would help a freaking Raza. Get out of my way, Lavazza Ball, you moron. Don't be like a Yoka Mela. And Lavazza... Okay, Lavazza Ball, what are you doing? You're starting to show why you're only 70 rated. Come on now. Okay, get out of my way, you donkey. I'm trying to make a run, what are you doing? Okay, Linus, it's a second... 
Okay, some of my guys are doing brain dead things. I'm not appreciating it. Palmer Cat. Oh. Could have had a hat trick there. Nunez. Nunez gets a brace too, so Pomacal and Nunez getting braces. And I'm not talking about the ones that are in your mouth. That you get in your mouth, rather. I'm not saying that you have braces in your mouth, but you know what I mean. Pomacal could have had a chance at a hat trick, though I'm happy for Nunez. Okay, a transfer offer for a backup right back, Red Sauce. For Marcel. Why? No. That is an insulting offer from the Italian side. Why would I give up a 76 rated player for a 66 rated player? Go home, Prima, you're drunk. But I'm going to go ahead and sim this match against Bielefeld. And I'm also going to sim the match against Regensburg as well. Probably going to play my second team against Greuther as well. Because uh, San Attackers, I want to make sure I get him plenty of game time. Okay, transfer offers for players I don't want to sell. Santa Litas, I'm interested in that. Cock is a hard no. Linus, despite the game he had last time, I swear he's blind. That's getting blocked. Yeah, twice in that game I crossed him and he looked around like he didn't know where the ball was. So yeah, I don't know what the deal with that is, but... I wasn't too happy with them. Make sure I have my strongest starting lineup here, which I do. Kind of wish Korea would start growing a little bit. His position might be in jeopardy, especially if Red Sauce starts growing. But anyway, we're going to sim this road game against Bielefeld. I would not be surprised if I draw points here. Let me take a look at their kits real quick. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and quick sim this. They got a Bobacy from Portland Timbers. That's an interesting signing. And not surprisingly, we end up losing this game. It wouldn't let me check out the rest of the stats for whatever reason, but we drop our first points here. And I'm going to keep my starting lineup here at a game against Regensburg. Now, if we draw points here, I'm going to be kind of concerned. Where is that loss? That loss puts us in fourth. We're only three points behind Darmstadt and Hamburg, who are, at the time of recording this, fighting for promotion right now. Interest in Eli. Sam Doria can have him. Loan offer and a transfer offer for Akanji. Akanji is going to be straight up block. I'm not even entertaining that. One year alone from Cluj. I'm going to go and accept that for Centelitis. And Zendilis. Koniaspor want him. But we are hosting Regensburg here. Like I said, we are going to be playing with our strongest starting lineup.
quick sim this. Please don't drop any more points. Which we don't. And Bolo gets a brace. Nunez came on for Wolf. Cody Gakpo came on for Boone Larson. And Lopez came on for Agustin. Which I didn't even mention Cody Gakpo in the last game. Hopefully you'll get more involved here in this next game. Which I'm going to play with my second team against Greater. Why am I, why is my manager rating not in the green? What's going on? Okay. They want me to get seven clean sheets in the league. Hmm. That is definitely going to be something I need to focus on off camera. They want us to win the league, which with our team we really should. We are currently in a round of 32. They want us to reach a round of 16. Yeah, they want us to keep a lot of clean sheets. Dang, I'm probably going to play, be playing a lot of games. Yeah, I can't keep clean sheets to save my life. Especially in sim matches. Act Paguma interest in Hoffenheim, they can have it. Centelitis has been loaned out, which is good news for me. Centelitis, loan agreement. One year loan deal, hopefully he'll go on his way to Turkey, which is right by Greece, and neighbors Greece, so... Hopefully he'll go towards his own neck of the woods again. But you see the table, we are currently in fourth right now, four points behind Hamburg. Three points behind Bielefeld, which beat us earlier, like a few minutes ago. Okay, Sanitakis is up to 64, which is nice to see. And I'm going to keep those kits. What are, what are the away kits? I'm not playing in showers, by the way. Way kit's actually kind of nice. Greater's always had interesting kits. It's a shame they can't spend any longer than one season in the Bundesliga. Pretty strong side as well. Well, for them, anyway. They got Raumanner, who recently got named to the World Cup team for Germany. But, um, anyway, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and play this match. And this will be the last one we feature in this episode. And then after this episode, like I said before, next time I'll see you guys, we will be in the, on the 1st of January. And I'll show mid-season stats and all that, where we're do how we're doing in the league, how we're doing the Bidere People Cow and all that fun stuff, so... Yeah, this is going to be almost like turned into an abridged career mode. Best defensive club. Greater has only conceded one goal so far. We're not even in the top five. Okay. But yeah, I'm going to try my best to get those clean sheets off camera if I can. Much like I did with my Darmstadt career mode in FIFA 22. Which, of course, is easier said than done. Nice first touch by Larazabal. As he leads to counterattack. Pomacal, beautiful header. 
the counterattack of death right there. Greater just could not cope with that. Nunez attempting a slide tackle for reasons. Oh, oh wait! Durham, what are you doing? How could you not... How could Durham... He had, like, a good few meters of pitch left uh, from the freaking touch line, and yet he wasn't able to keep it in. Okay, I see you out wide, liners. Linus acts like he's blind, and I don't understand why. Do I have get? I just thought about that Gakpo. Do I have Gakpo in this team? Okay, Linus, once again with a good goal. My guys can show a little bit more urgency off the ball. Just saying. Okay, another cross. Paul Macau once again showing his class early on in the season. And leveling ends up ruining our clean sheet hopes. Umbolo, Umbolo came on for Nunez. Gonzalez came on for Ferreira. And Angustan came on for Lopez. Darmstadt losing against Erzgebirger Hour. Now, I'm very curious. I don't believe... I mentioned Gagpow earlier, but I'm not sure if I have him. Yeah, I do. Wait a minute. Why did I get Laraza ball then? Huh? The Hazabar has been good. I don't want to drop him, but... Hmm. Yeah, he's been good. I don't want to drop him. But at the same time, though, I want to make sure Gakpo grows. I don't know what to do. Why did I... I'm gonna put Gakpo in. He, he needs to play. I'll put Luraza Ball in on the bench, but Gakpo needs to start playing. And I think I'm going to put him ahead of Wolf, if I'm being honest. Because he needs to start playing. I don't know what I was thinking with that Lorenzo Ball signing. But yeah, that'll do for this episode. Um, let me think. Like I said before, next time I'll see you guys, we will be headed to the January chance window. So, we are currently second, one point behind Hamburg. Hamburg undefeated so far this campaign with four wins in a draw.
See, Brown, Brownsburg, St. Pauli, Sandhausen have yet to win a game. Occupy the relegation spots. DAP Pokal, we are off against Hoffenheim because of course we are. We couldn't get Verl. We couldn't get Savicko. We couldn't get those teams. No, we get Hoffenheim. Cool. But yeah, as you can see here, we got a whole bunch of months to get through yet before we get to January. It'll be within a couple days for you guys, but for me, it's going to be a while. So, hope you guys looking forward to seeing how this team progresses. But thank you guys so much for watching this. Hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. I'll be seeing you guys again next time.